Hi there, I'm Liz Hawker and I'm the Managing Director of New Listings and Capital Markets at NASDAQ. I'm here today at the Silicon Slope Summit in Salt Lake City, Utah um, with the co-founders of Art Effects. I have Chris Lee and Zap Tio. Welcome. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. We're so excited. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> before, before I jump in and start asking you very serious interview questions, I have to ask you about your necklaces. No, just kidding, about your hats. <laughs> <laughs> so, so talk to me, what, tell me about these hats that you're wearing. Yeah, so they were created by Takashi Murakami, who's a lead collaborator in our CloneX NFT project. And this is a trait in our NFT project. And because we co-founded the project, he designed these hats specifically for us. And we pay homage to him by wearing them. We're grateful for him to create it for us because we're Takashi Murakami fans. Growing up, we've always seen him go to all his events, uh, and he's always wearing this really cool, crazy, funky hat, like standing next to Kanye West, like some of the greatest icons we looked up to. So for us to receive this as a personal gift for him, like made for us, is such a blessing. You know? Oh my goodness, well that's, uh, that's amazing, first of all, and um, the work that he's done is truly impressive, but also the work that you do is truly impressive thank you and this world the nft world that you are leaders in is fascinating and so i'd like to hear about how you found your way to creating this great company and how you found each other and how you found your way to creating this company so it all started with uh well, all three of us, there's one more co-founder who unfortunately couldn't be here today. We all come from different but similar backgrounds and I feel like that's what made the magic happen. Um, I myself came from a bunch of different areas in entertainment. So I was a film director, I worked in the music industry for a while and then moved into gaming where I designed video game skins and that's where I got to see virtual economies. Uh, Zaptio, genius dude. I'll, he'll get yeah. into his side, but let me let me let me get Benoit's <laughs> back. Benoit, uh, he came from like the the luxury fashion scene and in esports. Um, he was the brand manager of a Fnatic, uh, and he he made esports cool by trying to change Fnatic into a really cool lifestyle brand. Yeah, yeah and then I dabbled in a lot of things in streetwear and sneakers and gaming and. Benoit basically put us three together and we became great friends at first and we were all working in different fields and we came together and realized that there's no brand that organically captures the culture of today which is gamers are into fashion and sneakers and there wasn't a native brand that sort of encapsulated that, the creator economy. So we left what we were doing and we're like, let's build this brand of the future together. Yeah, like we need each other. Without him, my digital sneakers are just digital online and he's the one that like really forges him and hammers him into a <laughs> physical reality and Benoit is like this marketing guy who knows how to you know, cr basically create a brand and make sure everybody remembers that brand in their head. You know? Yeah, I mean absolutely. Like creating from just an idea to the whole brand and the actual physical object that is that. It's, it's really an amazing process. Tell me, so you just talked about the, the um, creator economy. Is that yep. right? So talk to me a little bit about that. I think so all of us, we come from a creative backgrounds and we've experienced the industry. So when we were starting the brand, we knew that that was an angle we wanted to help democratize and blockchain technology and NFTs is open sourcing democratization for creatives and changing the way people are paid. So that was one of the key things we wanted to instill in our community. So Chris was a very talented 3D artist, was teaching people and we're trying to provide as much value as we can to our community so they can go and build their own brands within this new ecosystem. So we collaborate with a lot of young artists and we really want people to basically democratize this technology and this space and show people that creatives don't have to just work for agencies or work in big brands and not get any credit like this space is made for creative individuals. It's a very important time for creators too because I myself uh, as a creator, like even working in the film and music industry as a VFX artist too, I felt like I was a replaceable asset, but I got paid low but enjoyed uh, the, the process and being an artist and I felt like a lot of artists got taken advantage of by the industry because they look at us and say, oh, well, he's an artist, he loves what he's doing, let's pay him this. Uh, we'll just get another guy or we'll outsource to another country. But with NFTs and blockchain, now artists can really have true ownership of their work where they can track down who's buying and reselling on the secondary market. And they're always going to get a kickback for life. 
Yeah, that changes the whole playing field, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so just shifting gears a little bit. Now, thinking about this new world of NFTs. Now, it's newer to some more than you. I mean, you all have been in the forefront and the leading in this area. But let's just say I'm new to NFTs and I'm going to get my very first one. I'm going to be a, a buyer or a collector. What advice do you have for me? I think the main advice is do your research first like look into a project look what are the team and check out the community behind the project you can either buy something because you love the visual and the art and i think the only way to experience the space is dive head first into a community and buy a project that resonates personally with you and then from there you'll build an understanding about the space and people are really concerned about the friction or like setting up a wallet the process is actually pretty simple. You just need to go and spend some time researching. I think OpenSea is the best place to start off and really experience what NFTs are in a sense. And if you're very new to the virtual items, say if you have kids, just ask them, hey, what's that thing you bought on Fortnite? They'll explain to you, oh, it's a skin. I bought it with V-Bucks. I used the credit card. It's almost the same process, but more evolved. Uh, and to add into what was Z saying, uh, it's easy to get FOMO'd into a project. That's why research is so important. People are getting scammed. So that's a big issue. So please be mindful, really research. Uh, don't FOMO into headlines or seeing so much hype on a project because the research is probably what's gonna save your, your bank. Yep. Okay, that's good to know. And then same thing for artists then. So if I'm an artist and I have a, a great idea for an NFT project, is it sort of the same path for me? It's similar. It's understanding the ecosystem and what goes on and what works and what doesn't. Mm -hmm. But then also joining our community. We really like to incubate our community and designers. We have resources, tutorials, everything we do, we try to approach it with an open source nature so people can learn and take what we've done and incorporate into their own projects or building with our community and community projects. So really join the Artifact community and understand the landscape. And we're really building for the future generation. We notice a huge increase with Gen Z uh, audiences picking up free 3D tools like Blender. Like when I started doing 3D back in the mid late 90s, 3D was very bizarre to people, but nowadays 3D is so common. You got kids making cool Fortnite banners uh, while learning 3D, learning Photoshop, learning how to texture 3D assets. But it's gonna be a very valuable time for the new youth to be a 3D artist. Well, thank you so much for coming by. It's thank such you. an honor to meet both of you and you. to hear your story. And I can't wait to see what's next. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much.